A new report from the Centers for Disease Control is now showing that current efforts to stop the spread of HIV have stalled. Here in Georgia, lawmakers have introduced a series of bills to create new programs to limit new infections. Joe Hankey talked with one lawmaker who believes a syringe exchange program could be an important part of the solution. Jeff, a bill to create a needle exchange passed through the House on Monday at the state capitol and is now being considered by the Senate. The program would be run by the state health department and would hand out clean needles to discourage sharing needles. The aim is to reduce the spread of HIV as well as hepatitis C and target the opioid epidemic. Scientific breakthroughs have brought a once distant dream within reach. In President Trump's State of the Union this month, he called for ending the spread of HIV by 2030. Trump is targeting 48 counties with the most HIV cases, including four in the metro Atlanta area. On Monday, State Representative Houston Gaines introduced House Bill 217. Contaminated syringes and needles affect more than just drug users or, drug or the drug dependent. The House approved the bill Monday with a vote of 166 to 3. On Tuesday, the CDC released a report looking at HIV cases from 2010 until 2016. It showed for years the number of new HIV cases declined, but in 2013 the numbers began leveling off and have now plateaued with 39,000 new cases nationwide every year. Infections have declined in some populations but increased in others, and the CDC found the decline in HIV infections stopped as prevention and treatment are not reaching those most in need. It's not a golden bullet. It's not going to fix everything. But I certainly think it can move our state in the right direction. Gaines says the Georgia Department of Health would oversee House Bill 217's needle exchange program, and the department could also offer existing rehab or treatment services to people exchanging needles. So it's not just exchanges, it's also you know, trying to encourage into treatment rehab programs. Again, people who enter these programs are five times more likely to go into treatment, um, which is exactly what we want. With the CDC's new report in mind, Eric Polk, who oversees HIV policy for Georgia Equality, says to reach the president's 2030 goal, new programs are needed. We definitely need to, to think about uh, what innovation looks like um, in the HIV space. For Georgia, he agrees innovation should include a needle exchange, but similar bills have been considered before, including last year, and did not become law. Each time that we see it, it, it moves a little further in the process. And so, um, Fingers crossed, I think this is going to be the year that it happens. Representative Houston Gaines says the needle exchange program comes with its limitations. It does not solve the spread of all HIV or hepatitis C cases and won't end the opioid epidemic, but he believes it is one step in the right direction. Last year, a federal study showed a similar program in part of Indiana led to a drastic decrease in the amount of people sharing syringes. Cheryl. All right, interesting to follow. Joe